Okay class, if you're wondering why Sonny Bridges is here, he has a special announcement to give you all. Thank you Professor Kukui. Alright class, today we have a new student coming here. I need you all to be nice to her, and make her feel welcome too. Her name is Tsumagi Kotobuki. But you can call her Mugi for short. Mugi, come in and say hello to your new classmates and introduce yourself, and then have them introduce themselves to you. Hello, my name is Sumagi Kotobuki, but you can call me Mugi. It's really nice to meet you all. What are your names? Hello Mugi, I'm Skeeter. Hey, I'm Doug. Nice to meet you as well Mugi. Nice to meet you too Mugi. I'm Lincoln. Hey Mugi. What up? I'm Jared. Oh, and hey. Um, I'm I'm. Roger. Roger Klotz. It's really nice to um, meet you, um, Mugi. Welcome, and um, and here, you can sit right in this empty desk in front of me, and make yourself more comfortable here too. Why thank you Roger. And thank you all. Alright Professor Kukui. You may now continue your teaching, and Mugi, I hope you enjoy your first day of being here. Thank you Sonny Bridges. Yay, thank you Sonny. I'm sure Mugi will be getting along just fine and love it here as well. I know she will. Now for me to head back into my office and get busy. Alright class, now that we have our new student, we will be learning about the history of Japan. Japan? That's where I live in Professor Kakui. Well Mugi, since you are from Japan, would you like to tell the whole class which European was the first to discover Japan and what year did this European discover Japan? Sure. But there are only two Europeans who discovered Japan, which are Antonio de Moda and Francisco Zimoto. And the year they first discovered Japan is 1543. Impressive. That is right Mugi. Oh boy. Mugi is really smart too. Even though she is from Japan, she is quite smart which I really find it special about her. Man, Mugi is just so beautiful to me. I'm happy there's a new student that is so pretty and intelligent like Mugi. Um, Roger? Oh, uh, yes Professor Kukui. Do you know what city in Japan used to be a village? Um, is it, Tokyo? Well done Roger, you actually got that right. Tokyo did used to be a type of village, so that's correct. Good job Roger. Yeah, this is the first time you guessed it right. Well, I really did pull that one off. It takes a bit of Weinstein's guess to actually get that answer correct. Lucky guess. Could have done better than that. All right now, how about you answer the next question about the history of Japan Lincoln? Oh boy. Look how neat Mugi puts her things in her locker, she's really good at organizing her things. Me on the other hand, always have a messy locker. I really wish my things in my locker are categorized neatly like Mugi's. So Roger. I can see you really have a crush on Mugi, is that right? Huh? We can see that you're staring at Mugi. Do you really like her or something? Oh shut up. I do not have any crush on her, not in a million years. Then why are you looking at her like you're in love? You know I just saw your eyes shaping like hearts. Okay okay. Maybe I do have a crush on Mugi. But I only have a little bit of a crush on her. There's just something about her, okay? You know Roger, maybe you should go talk to her and introduce yourself. And also, you should also ask her if you could show her around the school to have her lead to where she needs to go. Well you're right Doug and Skeeter. I might as well introduce myself to her and show her around the school. Thanks. Hey Mugi. I'm Jared, in case you don't remember. So what's up? Well I already know your name, I remember everyone's names but nothing as much, except I don't know my way to my next class and I'm having trouble leading the way, especially since I'm new in this school. Well girl, mind if I lead you the way to wherever you're going? Sure Jared. Thank you. Now follow me and I'll lead you the way, and also you can hang out with me at lunchtime too. Alright then. Oh no. 
Jared just came along and led her the way to her class, and asked her out for lunch. This is not fair, I was going to do that but Jared just stole my chance. Don't worry Roger. Yeah, you'll be able to win her, because me and Skeeter have an idea. Okay Doug and Skeeter, what is the plan? Okay, here's the plan, so make sure you listen very carefully. Okay. Look at that, there's a note on my logger. Let's see what it says. Oh boy. There's somebody that wants to meet me to have a nice conversation, well I better see who really wrote this since it says secret admirer. So I'll just go get my lunch and meet that someone outside at the picnic table. So Doug and Skeeter, are you sure that Moogie forgot about Jared offering her to come sit with him during lunch time? We believe she has, so don't worry, because she has been focused on her class that she probably lost track on that she was supposed to sit with Jared during lunch time. Also, just so you know, you have a soda with you and a milk carton so just in case Moogie forgot her drink, you could give her one of these drinks depending on which she prefers. Ooh, she's coming. Good luck Roger. Oh, it's you Roger. You were the one who wrote that invitation for me to come over here, right? Yes, I thought I invite you over here because I like to get to know you since you are a new student and I thought we could have lunch here together so we could know each other. Here, let me pull up that chair for you Moogie. Why thank you Roger. So Roger, I can really see you're also having sushi for lunch too. Yeah, sushi is one of my favorite Japanese cuisines. Mine too. I'm really glad we have something in common right there. Same here Mugi. So are you drinking anything? Oh, I forgot to get myself a drink. I better. Wait there's no need to, because I have two drinks and I can give you one of mine. Oh, thank you Roger. No problem Mugi. So which drink do you like to have? Soda or a carton of milk? The carton of milk is more healthier than the soda, so I'll go for the carton of milk. Alright, here you go. Thank you Roger. Anything you like to talk about? Oh yes, so Moogie, what do you do during your free time? I practice playing my keyboard to rehearse, I'm also part of the club called the Light Music Club. The Light Music Club? That's cool. What is the Light Music Club by the way? The Light Music Club is a club where you join a band. The name of the band is called, After School Tea Time. After School Tea Time, you got that band name from you and other band members from having tea after school, is that correct? Yes, as a matter of fact. Not only I spend time having tea after school with my band members, but my band members are also my best friends too, so, I also eat and hang out with them at fast food places as well. That's pretty cool to hear, by the way, what are your band members' names? Their names are Ritsu Sutainaka, Yui Hirasawa, Miyo Akiyama, and Azu No. Well, do they also go to this school too? Well yes, they are also new students here too, but we are in separate classes. By the way, let's eat our sushi before it gets cold, and then we could chit chat and get to know each other some more. Good idea Mugi. Now that we are both finished with our lunch, what do you think we should talk about? Let's know each other on what subjects we're good at. So Roger, what subject are you mostly good at? Well I would that I'm quite good at physical ed and a little bit good at math, what about you Moogie? I'm quite good at math too. And English as well. Also Moogie, I got something to confess about how I do in school. I really have struggles when it comes to homework and quizzes, like I have a hard time studying ever since my parents got divorced. My mom was there for me but not my dad pretty much. And because of that, I used to be mischievous and bully Doug, Skeeter, and some other people. But I am not the same kind of person I used to be nowadays. Well Roger, I'm sorry to hear that, but I have happened to come from a rich family, and to tell you the truth, my parents got divorced too. And my mom wasn't not much there for me either. But do you know what I did after that? I moved on and focused on the good. Well alright then I might as well just focus on the good. By the way, I was thinking if I could have your number so you could come over my house and study together. 
What do you say? Of course you can have my number. I am really happy to talk to you, good thing I changed my mind from sitting with Jared to sitting with you outside. I really didn't like Jared's behavior, because while he was leading me to my next class, he grabbed a student and drugged him into the locker. So I honestly don't like being around bullies like Jared. They're your moogie. You were supposed to sit with me during lunch time. Why didn't you come sit next to me? Why are you even sitting next to this loser? First off Jared, Roger Klotz is not a loser. Second, while you were leading me to my next class, you have bullied another student by grabbing him into the locker. So that's why I didn't go sit next to you. Listen Moogie. You better come with me and come hang out with me. Because I'm cool, and Roger is not. Roger is a loser who can't get a life. Roger should be a hobo when he grows up. Roger should. I've heard quite enough from you. I'm sick and tired of your bullying. I'm sick and tired of your behavior. And I'm sick and tired of your face. I told you that I don't like being around bullies like you. And let me tell you something. Roger also told me that he used to be a bully too, but he has changed and became nicer. You on the other hand haven't changed a bit and you never will. And that reminds me, we are reporting this to Sunny Bridges about your bullying and harassment towards me and Mookie and you'll be coming with us to Sunny's office too. And after that, me and Moogie are gonna hang out at my house to watch a movie together. Jared, I cannot believe you were being a bully towards Roger, trying to force Moogie to hang out with you, and harass Roger and Moogie. That's it. You are expelled. And as for you Roger and Moogie, I thank you for reporting this to me, and because of that, I'm giving you two four weeks off from school. You two may go home and enjoy your four weeks off. And as for you Jared, get out of this school now before I call the cops on you. Roger, I am so happy you got four weeks off along with Moogie. You can do whatever you want now. And Moogie, it's really nice to meet you. I'm Roger's mother, Edwina Klotz. Hello Mrs. Klotz. It's really nice to meet you as well. Also mom, now that me and Moogie have our four weeks off from school. I think me and Moogie are going to watch a movie together. That's an awesome idea Roger. Well, I'll go start making dinner while you two enjoy your movie. Alright T-Mom. Jared. I can't believe you got expelled from school for bullying Roger Klotz, trying to force Sumagi Kotobuki to hang out with you, and harass them, that's it. Go to your room right now. Why? <laughs>